Hello, The Night Watch here. Today I will talk about a movie based on the true story of the youngest warrior of World War II named Soldier Boy. Spoilers ahead. Welcome, and take care. The film begins in Russia, where a family of three sits by the river and enjoys their time. The youngest of them, Sergei Ilyushkov, is bragging to his older brother and mother that he is high up in a tree when suddenly a German fighter plane flies overhead. Her mother tells her children to quickly hide in the bushes, but the six-year-old says he's not afraid and hits the plane with a slingshot. To everyone's surprise, he manages to hit the jets and cause them to explode. But when he looks around, his family is gone. Sergei wakes up frightened from the dream and calls his mother. At that moment, someone knocks on his door. Assuming it is his mother, she runs to him, but a neighbor enters in a panic. She thanks God for keeping him alive and informs him that her mother and brother are dead. The boy can't understand what he's saying and wants to stay home and wait for his mother. The woman tells him that the Germans have attacked them and that he must flee. At that moment, some soldiers approached his house. The woman makes Sergei run out the window, but she is killed before reaching him. The six-year-old is now alone, with no family or friends. As Sergei runs away from home, he sees his entire neighborhood burning behind him. He calls his mother in vain and runs away from there. After running around for a while, she ends up in the middle of the forest. The little boy starts calling his mother to come and look for him because he is lost. That night, he stays in the jungle. The next morning, we see him drinking water from a river as enemy soldiers approach him. Sergei, knowing they are dangerous, quickly hides inside the roots of a tree. He gets startled when a snake approaches, but doesn't say a word or run away. Sergei is more afraid of the soldiers than the snake. The soldiers eat by the river and leave, after which Sergei takes the remnants of food and devours them for the night. However, by the end of the day, the boy is exhausted. It's been two days since he hasn't eaten an adequate meal and has walked aimlessly. She falls with a limp but won't stop walking. On his way, he sees wild berries and devours them, but just at that moment, an explosion occurs behind him that takes him by surprise. The boy feels dizzy and begins to hallucinate that someone is chasing him. However, even in such conditions, he is brave and tells the person that he has a rifle and he is not afraid. He limps forward but passes out after a while. As he sleeps, two soldiers approach him. The scene switches to the Russian army base where Commander Kuznetsov awaits his soldiers on patrol. They enter with the wounded and weak little boy. When the soldiers claim to be on his side, the boy opens up and introduces himself. The soldiers laugh as the boy shakes hands with the commander, suggesting that he come too. The soldiers feel affection for the boy and surround him. They make him drink water and feed him. The otherwise calm commander also takes care of the boy. A nurse named Katya tends to Sergei's wounds and is also happy with his personality. The boy asks him to draw a tank on his wounds because he wants to be a soldier when he grows up. Even wounded soldiers talk to the child and feel lighter. Sergei is fascinated by the commander's gun and his fate. The commander also answers all the boy's questions and lets him play with his honor pistol after drawing the bullets. Sergei shows him the tank removed on his belly and boasts that he is a soldier himself. The baby is recovering very quickly. Nurse Katya asks the commander to let the boy stay with the battalion, but he disagrees, claiming he won't be safe, she wants to send Sergei to an orphanage. The soldiers spent all their free time with Sergei, he is visited by many during the day. They bring him food sent by their families from afar and even let him play with his binoculars, one day, a soldier goes to the commander to ask him to let the boy stay with the battalion. The soldiers have developed a close bond with the boy and consider him their own. His presence lifts the burden of war off his chest. However, the commander insists on sending the boy to the orphanage, for his safety. The next day, enemies attack, and many soldiers are injured. A vehicle picks up Sergei to take him to the orphanage. The commander breaks the news to the boy and gives him an honorary wooden pistol. The boy, in turn, embraces him, stating that he fears for the commander's safety. The commander melts in her embrace and changes his mind. He asks Sergei to stay with the soldiers as he is his son. 
That night, the soldiers are looking for soldiers' clothes for the boy, and they are delighted that Sergei is staying with them. The commandant wakes up Sergei and hands him the clothes. He puts them on and runs around, looking like a real soldier. The others start calling him their toy soldier. As the boy runs, the Germans launch an air attack on the battalion. The soldiers quickly carry Sergei to safety and fight the others. The number of wounded soldiers is growing rapidly. Sergei wants to help, so he brings water to thirsty soldiers. One of them asks him to read a letter sent by his family because he has a blindfold on. The little boy wants to help, but he can't read. He takes the letter and starts making up the things written on it, stating that the soldier's cow is safe at home. When the soldier says he doesn't have a cow, the others tell him to follow the story and laugh. He reads everyone else's letters the same way and encourages them. In the next scene, we see Kadya and the commander talking. The two seem to be attracted to each other, but do not confess their feelings. After that, Sergei tells the commander that he holds the post of an orderly in the battalion and begins to introduce himself as such. However, the boy later sees one of the soldier's posts destroyed in the attack. The commander teaches him to take off his hat to pay his respects to the dead soldier. The next day he insists that the commander give him a mission and is given the task of distributing the letters among the soldiers. It completes his task efficiently and even makes the soldiers dance for him. The next day, Sergei walks a bit away from the base with his binoculars. As he plays with it, he sees someone's leg move from inside a haystack, runs back to the battalion, and tells the soldiers his findings about him. The soldiers are skeptical but go with the boy anyway. As they approach the barn, they are alerted to see two German spies hiding below. The spies are arrested and the boy is praised for his intelligence. That night, the commandant shows Sergei the legal papers for his adoption. He is now officially the father of the baby. Sergei knows the commander's feelings for Katya, so to reciprocate her kindness, she takes him to confess to her. But the two see her talking to a different man and mistakenly assume she is interested in someone else. The base is again attacked by the Germans. This time Sergei helps the soldiers with all his might, supplying the soldiers on the front line with ammunition, but the soldiers order him back to the shed as it is too dangerous outside. When he gets to the shed, he sees the major and the others panicking because the phone connection to the colonel has been cut. A soldier is sent to fix the broken wires. Sergei follows the soldier and sees that he has been mortally wounded. He asks the dying soldier how he can fix the wires and does it himself. The connection returns and more troops are called. The six-year-old saves everyone's lives. Later, we see the commander and Katya talking from the river. The commandant finally confesses his love for her and asks her to be Sergei's mother. Katya is overjoyed, but before she can say anything, a soldier approaches them and delivers a letter to the commander, saying they have been sent from the base. The next day, all the soldiers leave for their new base together with Sergei. However, along the way, they come across a minefield which blows up some of their vehicles. The commander is wounded while the orderly of the group, with whom Sergei was close, is killed in the explosion. He cry and embrace the commander. They take the wounded with them and continue their journey to their new base. When they finally reach the other base, they meet the commander's chief, the general. He too is impressed by the boy's ambition and congratulates the commander for having such an intelligent boy. The next day, his division receives a guard banner, as does the boy. He vows to save his country when the general gives him his fate. One night, his base is brutally attacked and the commander is trapped under the ruins. Sergei cries for his father and tries to save him. He calls out to the other soldiers, who finally get the commander out. The next day, Sergei approaches a wounded commander, his hands hurting as he tries to save the commander. The child is now an inseparable part of the team. He has no family by his side and moves wherever they go to war. The film ends as the regiment is seen moving to another base. A background rumor says that he even participated in the Battle of Stalingrad and came to Poland with soldiers. He is now known as the youngest soldier in the world and the legendary story of his bravery is now being broadcast for the whole world to hear. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on your notifications, and leave a like to help the channel. Thanks for watching.